Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, Sandrick uh, Configuration Guide series. This is uh, a video for uh, show you how to config uh, Sandrick uh, Access Controller. So uh, here I want to show you um, about the access control and the role management. Okay. Uh, so how a Sandry solution to control the internet access for the user and uh, uh, use the role to manage our network. Here I will uh, tell you the truth of Sandry solution. Actually, for the traditional solution, if you want to uh, make the limitation for the user, you need to create the different VLAN and to config the uh, IP port for each VLAN. It will be more uh, fle more um, complicated, and also the deployment it's uh, uh, not easy. But for uh, Sandry solution, we define the user role. Uh, actually, the role it's a limitation uh, group. Uh, for example, here, uh, if we uh, create the user uh, role, this is uh, our Wi-Fi, and then we config different uh, uh, policy, for example, the access control policy, uh, the application audit policy, and uh, the bandwidth control policy, and the quota policy. Uh, we use this role to call the policy, and then when the user, they connect to the Wi-Fi, they will get the role uh, with the policy. So uh, in this way, we can um, uh, manage the user behavior. So about the network access control parts, we have uh, uh, four policy. The first is access control policy. Actually, uh, this policy is to control the application and the service. For example, uh, we can block some application like uh, YouTube, uh, like Facebook, or some other uh, application. The second is uh, uh, the URL to block some website. You cannot uh, access to this website. Also, we have some uh, service, for example, HTTP service, or uh, DNS service, or PIN service, or some uh, other protocol. We can block it. Uh, for the second one, it's uh, application audit policy. This is uh, uh, to enable the audit, so the controller can uh, audit the user's data. And then uh, controller will know uh, whether the user uh, go to illegal web agent or uh, do some uh, uh, not secure uh, things. So uh, we can know the behavior of the user. The third part is for bandwidth uh, control policy. Uh, as you know, uh, for uh, bandwidth control, we can limit the terminal uh, bandwidth. For example. Uh, we can limit your mobile phone uh, only 10 megabits and uh, your laptop uh, 20 megabits. For the third part, it is uh, uh, call quota policy. Uh, actually, when the user they connect to the Wi-Fi, we can give him uh, one hour uh, online duration time and uh, one gigabit flow quota. So, uh, when the time after uh, one hour, this user will be uh, kicked off and uh, uh, it cannot connect to the internet again and also if we run out uh, of uh, one gigabit traffic the user uh, still cannot connect to the internet we kick it off and uh, he need to re-authenticate again so uh, this is the theory how to uh, make it uh, so let's see the configuration. So the first thing uh, to uh, make the access control and uh, to manage the role, uh, it's uh, uh, to make some policy. For example, here. Uh, actually, before we have made some policy. Uh, here I want. To, uh, here I just want to. Uh, repeat again and to show you how to config the policy. First, for example, this is uh, a block U2P. Uh, we can 
uh, to create a game. For example, block uh, YouTube B. Okay, and the roles included uh, the YouTube B. It's uh, application. Okay, we go to application, and uh, we search YouTube B here uh, to select the all the uh, YouTube B function, uh, YouTube B uh, application, and uh, the IP group is from uh, all to all to all. Okay, uh, schedule always our working time. Okay, uh, always the action. Uh, I actually we don't want uh, the user to uh, we do not want the employee to uh, see the video so we just deny okay uh, this is for the application for example if we want to block some service for example the uh, client cannot pin to uh, some website uh, we just here to uh, choose uh, pin okay and uh, this is sent by client. I mean, uh, the destination. How is the destination? Uh, okay, we can choose the all. So, for the terminal, uh, it can the direction of the data. It cannot. Uh, it cannot to uh, pin to uh, anywhere. So this protocol cannot be used. Uh, okay, forget to deny deny it. Okay, so okay, uh, this part is uh, to uh, control the access. The second is to uh, all these uh, uh, to all these application. Okay, we create one. Uh, for example, uh, we want to uh, audit uh, audit the URL. Okay. So here we choose the URL. Then, when the user, if we, uh, if we call, uh, if the user role calls this policy, we will know um, the URL, user access. The third part is uh, limit of uh, bandwidth control policy. Okay, here we limit. Uh, the band bandwidth restriction inbound rate per client 5 megabit outbound rate per client 5 megabits okay uh, we doesn't change it for the color policy okay here uh, for example we limit the quota uh, one hour and one traffic okay uh, after we run out of uh, one our or uh, one gigabit traffic, we reject uh, request in schedule, so you cannot uh, connect again. Here we enable, for example, uh, one hour is six minutes, uh, and the flow quota, uh, the daily quota per client, we give him one uh, gigabit. So after one hour or after. Uh, one gigabit traffic, you cannot connect to the internet. Okay, the policy we uh, configure well. Let's uh, to create the new role. Uh, okay, we name the role. It's a new role. Here the policy. It's uh, the access control policy. It's a uh, block you to B. Okay, the audit policy. It's uh, audit. And the uh, bandwidth control policy, this is uh, limit 5 megabits. The quota policy, it's uh, 1 hour and 1 gigabit. So, uh, the user, when he gets this role, the new role, uh, he cannot go to the YouTube B. He cannot use the ping, uh, because we have blocked it. And also, we audit the user's behavior, we know what's the uh, website. What URL the user access to, and uh, this terminal limit to five megabits, and the quota we give him one hour and one gigabit. Okay, understand? Okay. Uh, for the next part, how we assign this role to the user? Here. This is our uh, WLAN. It's SSS SSID. So, uh, in the uh, here we use uh, open authenticate 
uh, in the row assignment. Yes, the row assigned if no row is matching. Actually, we can um, make the matching uh, rows. For example, here we add uh, the, we add the location or clients, uh, the AP group, uh, or the AP, the user connect to the access point. It's which uh, it's uh, which AP. Uh, for example, this AP, right? The user connect to this AP will uh, get the role with default role. But uh, if it connect to other access point, it will guide the role uh, guest. Uh, no, the role new role because is uh, because there is a uh, uh, no role is matching, right? So. Uh, it will get the new role. The new role with the policy we create just uh, create just now. So, uh, okay, finish. So when we connect to the Wi-Fi Sundry, we get the role, new role. And uh, with the new role, with the new role. We cannot go to the U2B, uh, know your uh, behavior of uh, website, of URL, and limit for the and uh, uh, the quota give you one hour, one gigabit. So, this is uh, how to uh, create, create the uh, policy and uh, to create the role to manage the user's uh, behavior. Uh, how do you think about the configuration? Is it uh, uh, easily understand or not? Okay, uh, this video uh, it's over. So if you have some other questions, you can uh, contact me directly. This is Lin from Sandrick. See you next time.